starlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your loyalty, and support. It means the world to me. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, go ahead and do so now. Put your positive energies into this Capella family and click on the notification bell so that you get notified as to when I put new readings out and to include when I go live. If you would like a personal reading, or a coaching session, or if you would like to sign up for a 14-day free trial of one of my Capella memberships, check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com. The memberships include um, entries into free drawings monthly. You get daily guidance videos. You get to directly chat with me on my mobile app. You get to meet some amazing people there and um, join a, a, a tighter-knit group in that um realm i should say all right if you have any questions about anything at all please don't feel hesitant to contact me my information is in the description box below with that being said let's get into your reading hey there capricorn welcome to your reading how are you i hope you are well i send you much love and many many blessings all right capricorn if you've been watching me this looks like this is going to be the last time i do these types of readings, I am going to change it up for November now that I'm in more a more stable place unless something else changes that I'm not aware of. But, um, I need to conserve my energies, if you didn't already know, to be able to deal with my massive life changes and to be able to still do my mission work. So um, we're still going to look into what you need to work on for the time being along with... Uh, We'll also see what other messages come through, okay, that you guys need to be cognizant of. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind that uh, this is the last reading that I'm going to be doing it this way for now. If you're new here, I don't normally conduct these readings this way. Uh, I've been going through major, major life changes and I've been moving around quite a bit. So I'm in a stable place for right now and um, I do do things differently with my readings. So but if you've been led here, there is something for you here. All right, Capricorn, let's see what you need to be working on. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Family, Pleading Series, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. <clears throat> please remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else who's watching this. Keep your unhealthy ego at the door and make sure you are honest with yourself and your situation. All right, copies, we have the Ace of Imps. Wow, so Virgo got the Ace of Pumpkins, which is Ace of Pentacles. You guys got the Ace of Wands. You're pimping, Capricorn. I know that sounded cheesy, but my guides, sometimes they're cheesy. They want me to say stupid shit, so I do what they tell me to. Anyway, now remember, though, for some of you, this is something you need to work on. So some of you need to start doing things that inspire you. You got to go for it. There's an opportunity that's being presented to you, Capricorn. You just need to do it, okay? This could very well be career-wise for some of you. Some of you are a little hesitating a little bit. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I'm going to put in the hard work. I don't know if this is going to work out, blah, blah, blah. Stop doubting. Stop overthinking this, all right? Whatever God is presenting to you is going to be pretty big. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is for you to take action on this. And again, just go for it. You're being presented this, this incredible endeavor here exciting endeavor where you can do things uh creatively you're gonna be tapping more into your creative talents you guys are very skilled you're very good at something work towards that whatever you're good at that is your dharma god bless you with those incredible talents capricorn to do something magnificent from that okay we have the eight of pumpkins at the bottom of the deck this is the dharma card for me okay this is about some incredible skill talent whatever it is that you do something you craft something you create something that you make with your hands i don't know what it is maybe you're great at pumpkin carving i don't know either way 
you do something awesome. You have been blessed with an incredible talent, an incredible skill, and God wants you to use that, to stick to it, to keep working on this, to perfect it. Not that we're talking about perfection here, but you get better at it and better at it, better at it. Like case in point for me, I freaking got thrown off by my systems engineering career path to do this because I had no freaking clue. I had a very incredible gift of divination, of my psychic abilities, okay? All of those things. And I learned how to do tarot. I learned how to speak publicly because I was fearful of public speaking. I'd like to hide behind a curtain, all that crazy stuff. But the more I worked on it, the more dedicated I became to what God wanted me to do, I got better and better. And it got to the point where it became reprogrammed into me. And I don't even second guess about what I'm doing. I don't get nervous when I do these readings. I do lives now and I'm not hesitating. I'm not worried about what I'm going to say or do. I speak my truth and I have no fear with it. I continue to, to do my work and over time, I have actually continued to get better at my craft, better at what I do for my purpose. This is exactly what God wants you to understand. If you stick to it, if you are diligent and you are just dedicated to whatever this is, you will get to a place where it becomes second nature and you won't even think twice about it, okay? And you're gonna get this whole, you're gonna feel so lit up when you are working your Dharma here, Capricorn. It's gonna be um, <coughs> a beautiful life for you when you are doing these things that you are passionate about, that you're excited about. God does not want you to be in a job or be in a situation where it's mundane and it's boring and it's lackluster and you say to yourself, I hate this job, this job sucks, it's not fulfilling, it doesn't light you up. Why in the hell are you in something that doesn't light you up, Capricorn? God does not want us to be in a place that lowers our vibration. This is what's destined for us. We are able to use our creative talents as part of our life's purpose to give to others. This Eight of Pumpkins talks about you being that thread in the tapestry, guys. You were blessed with these talents that God gave you so you could use them for others, to help others, okay? It's like you paying God back in a sense. I know that sounds weird, but that's what they wanted me to say. Because God's like, okay, Capricorn, I bless you with this talent, with this skill. I want you to use it for others because this is about being in that tapestry. You are here for, you're a part of a whole. You're here for the greater good of humanity. This is not just about you, 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 and you and your abundance and your work and your mission, right, Capricorn? You are here to fulfill that to benefit others. That's what we are all here for. And God gave everybody some specific instructions, some specific talents and skills to use so that we can help each other, okay? To help inspire each other too. Because that's also what you're here for, to be inspiration for others. So there could be an opportunity that's being given to you by God. God's making this work out because it's the ace that he wants you to take. Don't hesitate on taking this opportunity because it could very well pay off and your hard work will definitely pay off. You will be recognized for what it is you're being called to do, all right? Some of you have a particular ability that nobody else has. <clears throat> it is unique to you, all right? You need to believe in that. Don't start thinking, oh, there's competition. Oh, I'm not really good at this. Oh, I can't do that. My ship has sailed. Stop with the bullshit. Nobody's ship has sailed here, okay? Look at me. I'm freaking 42 and a half years old, and I'm doing this, okay? I started when I was, what, 40? 39 and a half, I started to learn this, okay? There's no such thing as ship being sailed. If you've been called, if God's presenting you this opportunity to do what you love, and to build a business out of it and to just like, you are so happy with this crafting or do, and I'm hearing home decorating or party planning or something like that. I don't know. Jewelry making, um, painting even, but like crafting things with your artwork. I don't know, whatever. Whatever it is you guys do. It doesn't matter how old you are. It does not. If it sets you on fire in a good way, if it lights you up, if it gets you motivated and driven and excited for the next best thing, do that. That elevates your vibration and that attracts the most amazing things into your life. It attracts more aces of wands, okay? 
more amazing opportunities, more vitality, more excitement, more passion, all right? In all areas of your life to include your relationships. So take inspired action here. You have a creative spark. Go turn it into a flame, okay? It's like I'm seeing somebody with flint, okay? And you're seeing the spark and it's like it's not catching fire, all right? Because you're not continuing to do it. And it's like, I don't know if this is going to work for me. That spark, guys, is eventually going to turn into some massive flame when you stick to it and you trust in your abilities and whatever creative uh, talents you have. Okay? This energy is bubbling under the surface for some of you. It needs to come out in a creative way manner okay some of you are lacking direction you're thinking oh i just gotta work at this nine to five job and just be miserable there's no outlet there's no creativity in this job every single person on this planet was meant to use their creative talents period but the whole 3d world says oh Creativity is not going to get you a good job. It's not going to pay the bills. It's not going to do this. That's bullshit. That's the devil speaking to everybody. Because the devil wants you to be tied to him with the 3D world, with physical things, with I got to do this job that I hate because I got to pay my bills. God's like, the hell with that. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> God wants you to tap into your divine feminine energy of creativity. Because when you don't do that, your distorted masculine starts to surface and then it starts to put you in a lower light. It starts to put you closer to the devil, believe it or not. Okay? So whatever these emerging ideas you have, Capricorn, it's time to take action and get them going. Okay? Because you are very talented and skilled at something. Go do it. Stop thinking that you are not capable because you are. All right, <clears throat> just do it like Nike. There's also, for others of you, there is a new beginning that's coming. It could be a new career opportunity. You are getting a gift from God. God is presenting you something big here. It could very well be a new career a job that allows you to express yourself creative, creatively. <clears throat> you could very well be moving for this, okay? Somebody may give you this amazing opportunity that you're just super passionate about and you may have to relocate for that, okay? That's only for some, not for all. So when this gets presented to you and you feel that excitement, that passion about this, you feel like, holy cow, this is like a dream job. I can't believe I'm being presented this opportunity. And you feel that within you. You know it's right for you. Take it. Okay? Take it. <clears throat> because somebody's recognizing you for your skills and your talents. And it could bring in quite a bit of money. This could be unexpected money with this Ace of Wands, okay? Um, that comes with this career opportunity, whatever this is, this endeavor. Um, somebody is observing you and they're really realizing how good you are at something. Again, there's recognition here for your efforts, for your talents. And it looks like an opportunity is going to be presented to you to utilize those for something. For that new career, for that new contract, for that new business, whatever it is. It can even be a new business. Okay? Some of you creating your business, like I said, out of you with utilizing your talents. You can do that, guys. It's what I've done. But it's given me something greater than just money. Okay? It's helped me to realize that I can do anything. And it helped me to realize that I had some talents that I didn't even know I had. And it's quite fascinating with the job that I do now. It always lights me up. It gets me going. And trust me, sometimes I have days where it's like, 
Should I still be doing this? Is this really my path? But God always shows me, if it makes you feel like this, Jess, then it is your path. If I have to remember that I'm here to help others, I'm here to be of spirit of service, I'm utilizing my God-given gifts and talents, my blessings, whatever God has given me, I'm utilizing them for the greater good of humanity. That's what I'm here for. And I love inspiring people. I love helping people. But it's very different than what I've ever done. And I, I will not go back to what I'm doing because this, this is what lights me up. This is what helps me to get going. And sometimes when I'm second guessing things and I'm doubting what it is that I'm doing, it kind of came in Virgo's message. If you haven't watched Virgo's message, um, doubting you know what I'm doing sometimes. And then I get back to this and it keeps reminding me how I feel. I feel Ace of Wands when I do this work. And I know that when my vibration shoots through the sky because of what I'm doing, I know I am on the right path. For some of you, that should be a huge indication. If you don't feel this fire within you, you don't feel passionate about something, you don't feel excited about something, you are not in your purpose. Okay? That's the cold hard truth for some of you. It has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with spirit. Wands are about spirituality. And it ties into your creativity, okay? So this could very well be some of you have been working very hard on something, on a business, on a project, a song, a work of art. I don't know. You're crafting something. There's going to be a fresh new start because apparently somebody is recognizing you for this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... There's going to be a really nice opportunity presented to some of you who've already been working towards this. This is for those of you who are already in your Dharma, okay? Those of you who've already been, um, you already have the business, you already have the, uh, you're, you're doing your mission work, okay? You stuck to it. You stayed dedicated to mission. Some of you are self-employed, right? You stayed very committed to this, and God has seen this. So now he's giving you something new, something you've never done before, but that you're ready for. You've prepared for this for a while. It's like a leveling up is what I'm hearing, okay? <coughs> it's a leveling up for some of you. Again, that's for those of you who are already doing your dharma. And those of you who start working your purpose and utilizing your creative talents and gifts, those awesome opportunities will be presented to you too. But God is bringing this in. God is creating this opportunity for you. All right, let's see what your guidance is. What guidance do we have for Capricorn? Oh, there we go. <laughs> we have two cards. 43. Maybe this uh, that's an age for some of you, or 43 significant, or 20. Pink Lotus Fairy, a time for spirit. What did I say? Fairy of the Highlands. It's time to be brave. It's just time to go for this. Capricorn. You should not doubt the talents that you have because God blessed you with them. Fairy of the divine hand, intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. Distorted view is what I'm getting from this. What did I say about the 3D world? Oh, I got to have the nine to five job. I got to do this. I have to be miserable in it. You're looking at that with your human eyes, not your spiritual eye. Okay, so let's look at number 21st. <clears throat> the fairy of the highlands does not want to fight she feels it is not in her nature she wants to resolve her disputes peacefully but she will fight if it must come to that and she is showing you now that you too have the means to stand up for yourself 
even though you have almost chronically avoided conflict and allowed others to take advantage. It is time to take up the sword, step into that part of yourself that knows how to take a stand, speak the truth, and not back down when the threat of a conflict looms. It may seem unnatural and wrong and frightening, and this little fairy knows it. But it is time and this giving up of what you have worked so hard for in order to avoid conflict or confrontation is no longer right. Take the stand and hold up the sword. The fairy of the highlands will be there for you and when the threat is over, she will help you celebrate your victory. See this is my sword of power. I have long feared to use it, but now I must grow strong and take it up as you must too. The thought of wielding it, of hurting anything or anyone makes me sad but I know what must be done, and I must learn to fight the good fight and stand up for what I believe in. Although I have been told I must not be aggressive, in fact, I must now take up my arms against this trouble and finish it for good. I am going into a battle, and for that I feel sorrow, but I will be fearless and strong and do what needs to be done. I may bathe my sword in tears, but I will no longer hold it back when the threat that approaches relies on my fear for its victory. I will no longer give away my power so easily. This time, I will take back what it's mine." what is mine. I have to go back to this. Some of you keep repeating, doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different result, or you keep doing something that you know doesn't spark anything. It doesn't light you up. For some of you, this is a job, okay? The time of truce is over. It is time to speak your truth and be strong. People have been taking over your ground, wanting what you have worked hard for, without doing the work themselves. They have done so by taking advantage of your peaceful nature. But enough is enough. Sad as it is, it is time to change this, to cut away the cords between you and those who have taken so much, and now you will go into battle. Yes, it is sad. Yes, the Highland Fairy is sad for you. But do not allow sorrow and guilt to neglect self-protection. Honor yourself, raise your sword, and do not back down. Number 43. You may love your guilt-free rant, staying up too late and happily behaving badly, but you're about to balance all that out with some very powerful new spiritual teachings and connections. <coughs> they gave me another message with this. Doing the inner work. This is now the best chance for you to go for it and do the inner work to achieve. <coughs> <coughs> My gosh. It's like... <clears throat> something out my throat to achieve self-mastery okay some of you this is what you need to be working on which is why the pink lotus fairy is here you are to meet a wise one who seems very still very slow and very peaceful she will be tranquil and serene and immersed in a path that until now has felt too slow or foreign for you but this teacher who is represented by the pink lotus fairy will assist you in finding more of your soul's true wisdom Within this time of inner discovery, you will commit to discipline, new training in the mental realms, study and physical movement that is unfamiliar to you, all of which helps you to naturally choose thoughts that are empowering and enlightening, yet completely authentic and real. You will learn to be still and to listen to the beat of your heart without giving into restlessness or the critical voice inside or the cliches the ego loves to trip you up with. After you have learned more discipline through peaceful practice of meditation or exercise or mantras, you will nurture yourself more willingly, without guilt, and you will have returned to a place of tranquility, self-love, and peace. You will bring into balance your own shadows and light. Don't worry, you will be happier and more peaceful, but you won't be boring. You can never be. All right. <clears throat> Soon a teacher, or guide, or mentor will enter your life. When you meet that person, he or she is here to demonstrate ways for you to find your own path and to grow and evolve into the being you are meant to be. Go within and look deeply into your heart and find the love that overflows in its secret quiet places. Your love is rich and warm and flowing still, and it is time for you to renew your connection to the source via the teachings you will be introduced to soon. When you patiently learn from a good teacher who is pure in intent, your powers of focus, telepathy, intuition, and inner peace, no matter what the outer circumstances, will be greatly amplified. Spiritual quest, travel, calm, relaxed yoga pose, self-love, and self-acceptance. Third eye and crown chakra activation, chakra awakening, connection to all, crown chakra connected to the universe, receiving universal love messages, self-connected peacefully to the earth, peaceful flowing energy in the body, tranquil, sublime spiritual moments of connection, blessings showering upon you due to correct relationships with body and soul. 
time to take a class course or no a new study program time to welcome in a new teacher either in the form of a physical being or perhaps a path that speaks to your heart at this time or a spirit guide who resonates with you know that while this path and tranquil easeful philosophy may seem out of character for you it is a deep and true part of yourself that has long yearned for acknowledgement fulfillment and the nirvana that is on your way so some of you either a teacher is coming to you maybe it's a yoga teacher or someone who's very spiritual who's very calm, who's very at peace, who stays calm through the storm. Nothing phases them. They're always balanced. They're always calibrated, no matter what is going on around them. They could be in the middle of a freaking hurricane and they won't get blown away. They'll be like, okay, cool, that's a hurricane. And they're going to be like this. They're going to be in this, this half lotus position. Okay, because that person is enlightened. They are very close to God. They're more spiritual than religious. <clears throat> they follow certain spiritual practices that they can teach you how to do, okay, to help you be calm and tranquil and usa, okay? They may not even do yoga, but they do other things, okay? I know I used to do yoga. I probably need to get back into it, but I got to consult my guides about it because there's all this stuff going on. So it's a time for spirit, as this card says. And if somebody has not been presented to you to help you get to this state of what do I want to say? Not Dharma. It's, um, I'm hearing like a Buddha state. Okay. That's what I'm getting. If somebody has been called, to, if you've already met this person, spirit is telling you to work with this person to see life from a different view, to see it from a more spiritual standpoint, to help you with these practices because this person is already well versed in these things. Okay. I'm here. Somebody needs to hear this. It's going to be, I'm hearing from my guides to tell you for somebody, it's well worth your time, money, and energy to work with this teacher because you will be so calm through anything. Your health will improve. Your mental state will improve. All of those physical ailments that you have will most likely go away. All of these things. You will not feel stressed out. You will not feel bothered. You will not feel triggered. All of these things, you will just be like floating through the air. Yes, you will be grounded enough, but you will be at peace no matter what. God wants us to be abundant in peace first and foremost. For me, that is way more important than money because when you are in peace and you are loving what you're doing and you're just full of this light here, You've got it made. God never intended for us to be stressed out or to be off kilter. That's the whole energy. He always wants us to be this. And it takes some time to get here, but this is achievable. So maybe some of you are being presented an opportunity by God to work with this teacher. Okay, whoever that is. All right, let's look at the bottom of the deck. Number two, this Fairy of the Divine Hand has been coming up quite a bit since I've been using this deck. <clears throat> it is ever so likely you are being urged by friends, loved ones, or even your own self to more accurately estimate the power addictive behaviors that substances can have over you. You know how it is. You start having a piece of candy, some soda, maybe a little junk food, then before long you have more. I'm also hearing drinking for somebody. It may be another habit, such as judging yourself or others way too harshly, thinking negatively or giving up too early and exercising good healthy practices that you are indulging in. Gossip, too, falls under the fairy of the divine hand domain. While it can be wickedly delicious, it always leaves such a sour aftertaste. So when she shows up, know that the true gift she offers is awareness of what you're denying. Don't ignore fairy of the divine hand. Thank her for pointing out your addictive tendencies, acknowledging their power, and then disengage and find support for living in clear, bright ways that don't leave you feeling drained, disoriented, and disenchanted. See, some of you are in this energy. It's time for you to be this instead of this. I'm here to reveal to you what will tempt you. It is a delightful, this thing, is it delightful, this thing you are being offered? And surely a little won't hurt? I am fear of the divine hand and I appear to you where you are blinded to what you must see. Come and truly examine what is being offered to you. Underneath this apparently harmless fun, spending, partying, distraction, and temptation lie disorientation and fear, and things may appear to be quite different than how they truly are. But here, look and look closely. Do you begin to see what will take place if you continue down this path? 
If you sugarcoat the possibilities of where this may end, do not push down the feelings and warnings you have. Instead, come a little closer and look. Do you begin to understand that what seems such a small thing may indeed change lives? Take a moment, look, and think. Connect with your deeper wisdom. Decide whether you will join in with what is tempting you or whether you will watch a while longer and make the, the, and make the wise decision instead. Stop right now, Capricorn. Your intuition, your inner sight, and clear vision is sending you a very clear warning. A red flag has just gone up, and this is the time to stop, to look, and to listen before going forward. Your higher self, your clear sight, wants you to stop and think before simply taking this wonderful temptation someone is offering you. It may be in the form of secretive relationship, junk food, alcohol at a party, sex before you're ready, or behaving in ways that are unsafe and disrespectful, speaking harmful words and thoughts that could scar people for a long, long time. This moment's indulgence could have long-term repercussions that could lead you away from, from well-being, <coughs> clarity and harmony. You know when this temptation comes to you that you do not need to flee. You do not need to indulge. You do not need to curse and berate this lovely, very earnest fairy her, fairy with her clear message to stop and truly look at what is taking place. You know you simply need to pause, be quiet and clear. And now, and know now that one of your fiercest addictions is seeking you out and you are wavering, caught in its delirium. This is not an opportunity to escape. This is your chance to break free. I would highly recommend you watch the Virgo and uh, Taurus readings, Capricorn. There's a very big thing with temptation and offers and things and using discernment with that. <coughs> I'm hearing for some of you, whatever this is, if it brings you peace and tranquility, you go for it. This could even be a person, okay? who brings you peace. Maybe somebody taught you already to be in this. I just heard while I was reading this card, stop being influenced by other people. There's somebody here. This may not resonate with you, Capricorn, all of you, or you could be dealing with this person. This is an engagement card. Somebody has been working very hard on themselves, but also working very hard on a proposal or some type of engagement plan or, or preparing for an engagement, okay? Somebody's put a lot of detail, a lot of effort into this. Um, this is dedication, strict, very serious dedication to something. There's a big achievement here. Um, but I don't know why I got this message while I was reading The Fairy of the Divine Hand, but there's something about an engagement here for somebody. Um, somebody's been working very, very hard on like proposing to someone, something like that. See, going for it, being brave. The time for spirit, it's time to trust your, your, your what spirit is telling you, what God is telling you. Um, and there's something about this opportunity that's being presented to you now. If it brings you peace and enlightenment and tranquility, this is definitely for you. Because if it brings you anything but that, right? The, the indulgence, the intoxication, okay? Dark things, then that's not for you. Um. So yeah, that's what I have, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped you. If you would like a personal reading with me, a phone coaching conversation, a live coaching conversation via Zoom. A phone is live, by the way. I kind of messed that up, but whatever. Um, check out the description box below or go to capellawalls.com and check out my service suite. If you would like to sign up for a 14-day free trial of one of my awesome Capella memberships, by all means, check out the description. Go to capellawalls.com. If you want to do that and click on the join now button, it will take you to the page that has all the memberships and all the different tiers. Okay. You will meet some incredible people there. You get to contact me through my free mobile app. You get to access all of my bonus contact, contact content in that app. And that app does not cost you anything. Okay. <clears throat> nor will I harass you on that app. I do send notifications every now and again, announcements, but I don't bombard you with stuff. Um, you will have access to daily guided meditations that are very helpful as supplemental readings for these weeklies, for these timeless, whatever readings that I do for free on YouTube. Okay. It will best support me in my endeavors, right? I give to you, you give back in a thing, in a sense. And the memberships that I offer, they're very, very beneficial. I haven't got one complaint from anybody. Um, and I also do members only live readings there, full moon, new moon, 18 plus readings, you name it, twin flame support groups. I'm gonna really be ramping that up now. 
to help you guys through your journeys and you get to meet other people who are in similar journeys, see their perspective, see their stories, see how they met their counterpart, all those things, see what they're going through. It's going to be a really, really, really nice group to be sitting in. That's part of some of the memberships, a whole bunch of stuff, guys. You even get to be entered in for a free reading every month as long as you're a member. Um, I pick one person, one member every month to give them a free personal reading, okay? Um, and the higher tiers even give you coaching sessions with me, all right? And other perks like discounts on all of my services because you could get a discount on every single reading no matter how many readings you do, all right? So check those out. Again, description box. Click the join now button at capellawellos.com. <coughs> if you have any questions about this reading, about anything else, my memberships, my services, anything at all, please do not hesitate to contact me. I do not bite. I may give tough love, but it's unconditional love nonetheless, without judgment, okay? All right, guys, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always, I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jasmine Capella Wellness, starring out.